Hello, this is Vicki with Signot, and I'm going to quickly show you how to test the voltage of your battery and the resistance of your atomizer. I have a $4 voltmeter, so my expectation is to get a general idea of what's going on, not necessarily to get the most accurate reading in the world. You'll see on the voltmeter there's a DCV area, that is DC voltage. You turn it to the lowest number, on mine it is 20, and turn your voltmeter on. You've got a red lead and a black lead. The black is common or minus on a battery. I touch the black lead to the threading or outside housing of the battery, push the button, and I touch the red lead to the center contact. And you'll see I'm getting a 3.3334 reading. This is a good battery. For resistance, You'll see on your voltmeter an area of ohms. You turn the dial to the, again the lowest number. On mine it is 200. You touch the leads together because there's resistance in the wires themselves and I'm getting about 0.4. Now it went to 0.3. Again, it is not the most accurate voltmeter. This is a 510 atomizer. It does not matter which color you put where on, in this test for resistance. You put one on the outside threads and touch the other to the center. I'm getting 2.8, 2.7, minus the 0.3, sometimes it says 0.4 for the leads. That gives me a 2.3-ish ohms resistance on that atomizer, a good atomizer. Here is a B-type tank atomizer. You touch it to the outside threads, but you don't want it to hit the outside housing. You may get some funny reads. So you hold it to the threads, and again, touch the other one to the center contact. And I'm getting 2.9 on this one. Again, minus 2.8. So it's, you know, mid twos, which is a good resistance again. Here is a C head touching one to the outside, to the housing, one to the center contact. And again, I'm getting 2.6, 2.5, minus my lead, so I'm in the 2.2 area. That's fine. If there is no continuity, which you have now, these are not touching, that means that your coil is broken and your resistance will be infinite. And that's what the one in the dial means. It has infinite resistance. There is no continuity between these leads. That means your atomizer is bad. Thank you. I hope that helps.